Hi, John here. I'm at the Emerald Hollow Sluice Way in beautiful Hidden Night, North Carolina again. And uh, here at the Sluice Way, I've gotten some goodies that I'd like to show you. So I'm at the uh, the far end Sluice Way. Usually I'm in here working that, but it's such a beautiful, gorgeous day. And then I can see all my findings real well. And real quickly, let me go through these. You can see I've got a lot of crystallization going on. And I got... Oh, much bigger pieces again and right there some of that pyrite staining nice rainbow the stuff that I'm getting out of there is really clear this right here in this crystal is massive spodumene so that's uh, what hidden night is the spodumene but this is the massive part of it not very jimmy at all So I'm getting more cap rock crystals. And if you if I can get a good shot right here, you can see there's some pyrite cubes or hematite crystals inside there. There's some more facing. Now this uh muscovite looks like it's um golden not quite as green as what I've been getting here's some more of that uh, quartz that that I think they call it burnt quartz where the sand gets mixed in with it and hopefully I'll be able to cut this and we, you'll really be able to see how the sand gets down into it you can kind of see right here But I think if I cut and polish it, you'll be able to see it a lot better. So I might end up doing that. There's some uh, limonite. Some, some rutile. Here's my rutile for the day. Very, very bright red, some of these pieces. There's a piece stuck right in there. That is gorgeous. There's a nice crystal. And this is broken away from cap rock as well. Here's a tabby. Here's some uh, crystals. This one right here. There. Here is a reversed scepter with goodies inside of it. And I've got some bigger pieces too that showed some crystallization. There's my green mic on the bigger chunk. And then there's red root tail in there as well. And hopefully you can see that. Here's some of that green mica that acting like it's an emerald. And okay, so let's do the uh, the top three. Coming in at number three is this crystal here. You can see it. It's got some of that sand added to it as well. You can see it's just faced no matter what way I turn it. Even there, at first, it looks like it's broken away. But it's all faced. 
So that's number three. Number two, let me get this right. What's amazing about that, if I turn it that way, we've got a reverse scepter. If I turn it this way, we have a scepter. A double terminated scepter, reverse scepter. <laughs> and it's not citrine, that yellow is from staining. And you can even see that it has a little bit of a rainbow effect to it as well. Beautiful piece. Okay, and number one is a two-parter. See how it's got the root heel hidden down in there? And then crystals as well. Mica. Beautiful piece. And then this is another part of it. The root heel up here. Mica, but look at these crystals. Now, granted, they're all stained, but just beautiful. All right, that's it for now. And I want to thank everybody for all the birthday wishes. It was very sweet of you all. It made my birthday even extra special. So really, thank y'all.